In this video, we're going to learn how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to compare three or more population means using analysis of variance. So the first thing that we need to start off with doing is we need to get our data into our graphing calculator. So to do that, we would just hit stats and then we would choose the edit option number one, which is the edit menu. And you can see I already have my data in here. So I type my data into list one, list two, and list three, and those would represent either the three different groups that I had, or if you're referring to them as factors, the three different factors that I have, or the three different treatments. So those words are kind of synonymous um, with each other. It really depends on what you're using the analysis of variance for. So you'll see some of those terms come up when you're using different software or different textbooks. So I've got my data typed in. If you need to pause the video to type the data in, you can do that at this point, but I'm just gonna continue on. So to do the analysis of variance, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the stats menu again, and we're going to go all the way over to the far right to get to our inferential options under tests. So once I have tests selected, if you just hit the up arrow one time, it'll bring you to the bottom of the menu. And you can see I have option H right there, which is ANOVA, and that's the one-way analysis of variance is what we're going to be doing. And so that's what I want, so I'll hit enter to select that. When this comes up, it doesn't give you a nice menu like before, so it just says ANOVA left parenthesis. And what we have to do is tell it what lists we're performing the analysis of variance on. If you recall, when, we, when I inputted the data, we had three different lists, or we had three different groups that we were taking a look at. So uh, the first group was in list one, and then we have to separate that with a comma, which is directly above the seven. The next group is list two separate it with a comma, and then the last group is list three, and then we'll close parentheses. And so from here, you'll just hit enter. And once you hit enter, it'll show up and it'll say, okay, you just did a one-way analysis of variance. Uh, the first thing that it gives us is our test statistic, our F value for this, which is 6.431. Right below that is our P value, and our P value is 0 0.0126. And just recall that the smaller the P value, the greater the evidence we have or the more evidence we have against our null hypothesis. And then right below this, it says factors. Now, it depends on what software, what text you're using, or what you're using analysis of variance for. But sometimes factors can be referred to as uh, treatments. Or it can also be referred to as between groups, or some texts just use the word groups. So these would be the degrees of freedom, sum of squares, and mean squares for the factors, the treatments, or the groups. So our degrees of freedom are 2, the sum of squares is 149.2, and the mean square is 74.6. Right below that it says error. If you're using um, treatments um, or factors, usually this is re referred to as error, but if you're using um, uh, between groups up here instead of factors, then error is referred to generally as within groups. So let me scroll down so you can see the um, values that are within there. So we have our degrees of freedom for the error, which is 12, the sum of squares, which is 139.2, and then the mean square for the error, which is 11.6. And down below, this is a pooled standard deviation. So um, really, the, the only values that you um, potentially need right away would be your p-value. I mean, that's what we're after to make a decision regarding our null hypothesis. So hopefully this helps you uh, navigate using the analysis of variance function within the calculator, and we'll help you get your homework done. So good luck on everything.